there, Melanie from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium here. Thanks for joining us today for On the Water. Here at CMA, we believe in preserving our marine life and environment through leadership in research, education, rescue, rehabilitation, and release. So 50 to 60 days after the, the nest is laid by the mother, the, the eggs will be ready to hatch and the hatchlings will be ready to come up out of the ground. A uh, big problem we have here in Pinellas County is a lot of development and a lot of artificial lighting along the beaches. Uh, this causes hatchling disorientation, so when it's time for those nests to hatch, uh, if they're in an area with very bad lighting, we will have a, what's called a restraining cage over that nest and then we'll have volunteers out watching that nest for a couple hours each night. So when that nest does hatch, that cage will keep them all contained until a permitted person can make it out there and make sure all those turtles make it to the water safely. So once the hatchlings come up out of the sand and are in the cage, our volunteer will remove those hatchlings from the cage, uh, take them down a little closer to the water. But we still want to make sure they have plenty of time to walk on the beach to the water. Uh, this is all part of the imprinting process, so they know to come back to these same beaches uh, once they grow up and become adults and are ready to lay their own eggs. On beaches where artificial lighting is not a problem, um, we can let these hatchlings hatch out naturally and they can make it to the water on their own. This is the best possible scenario for these turtles because we want, we want to keep it in as natural a setting as possible for them. So these sea turtles are an endangered species, uh, so it is illegal to uh, handle these turtles, harm their nests, or disrupt their nesting behavior in any way. We are required to hold a permit under FWC, uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, to be able to do the work that we do. Some things you can do to help out the turtles is uh, if you live in a coastal community, make sure you're turning off your lights at night and keeping the beaches nice and dark. Uh, also, if you like to visit the beaches, uh, make sure you pick up any trash that you bring with you. Don't leave anything out there that you brought with you. And also, fill in your holes and knock down your sand castles. These can cause obstacles for the, uh, both the nesting females and the hatchlings when they're trying to either find a good nesting site or reach the water. Um, so it's important to keep the beaches nice and clean and dark for the turtles so they can do what they do. Another thing you do to help, uh, help the sea turtles out is if there's a beach cleanup in your area, get involved. So we just had a beach cleanup here on Clearwater Beach as part of Sea Turtle Awareness Day. So it was really a great time. Everybody came out to help out, uh, picking up trash, knocking down sand castles, filling in holes. Uh, it was great to have the community get together and help the sea turtles out. Another way you can help sea turtles is by adopting a sea turtle nest. Uh, you can find out more information about that on our web website, seawinter.com. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode of On the Water. To watch more episodes, visit us at www.seawinter.com slash onthewater. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook to get a sneak preview of each new episode.